Hey everybody, welcome back. On this video, this is gonna be the first of a series of videos on my new project. This is a 1967 RS SS 350 four-speed Camaro. And this car, basically from the uh, firewall back, is all original paint, original interior, pretty much a virgin car. This car comes fully documented with all of the uh, protecto plate uh, a lot of the original uh, sales uh, brochures and receipts and everything from the original owner. So um, I'll be working on this car here in the coming months uh, along with my 69 Camaro uh, Z28, which is on some of the other videos. But as you can see, this car is really pretty much of, of an original untouched survivor uh, SSRS so or RSSS but anyway this car is in really great shape um, it's got an original uh, deluxe interior which I'll show you here pretty much untouched interior here original four speed car is very well optioned um, Right now the carpet is out of it, uh, but the upholstery is in pretty decent condition. I mean, it's it needs to be replaced, of course, but I'll be doing all of that. And the car is pretty rust-free too. It it really does not have a whole lot of rust, as you can see here. These are the lower quarters here in the front. Very, very little rust here in the in the rear in the rear of the quarters. I'm sure the mud flaps had something to do with that. This trunk lid has been replaced only because of the fact that the car had a uh, a uh, spoiler on the back, which these cars did not come from the factory. But this trunk lid uh, is the early style trunk lid, and it's got the correct uh, day code on it, which is right there. This is a December 66 car. And there's a whole bunch of stuff here in the trunk, but the trunk pan is in pretty good condition. It's very little rust, mostly just surface rust. Uh, the wheels are all the original um, rally wheels, so all five uh, original rally wheels to the car. And for some reason, the the uh, the front of the car has been has had body panels re uh, replaced, and I'm not sure what the deal with that is, but. Uh, this driver's fender has been replaced with an original GM fender, came off a maroon car. Uh, the core support has been replaced. And this fender as well looks like it came off a, uh, what looks like a maroon car. But again, it's an original GM fender. This is the original windshield. All the glass is original. The, uh, the mirrors obviously have been replaced. And then some of these front end parts are the original parts that came off the car. Uh, you know, like the headlight assemblies and the fender extension on that side. A lot of the original trim. The original grill is gone, but I've got another one ordered. This is the original um, radiator that's got the correct date code, which is M, as you can see there. Those are the original headlight doors, like I said, 67 doors.
This is the original numbers matching engine. The numbers on the engine, the transmission, and the rear end are all matching. And like I said, I've got the original Protecto plate on this car as well. So I'll zoom in here on the uh, Caltag. car is really well optioned. Like I said, it, it came optioned with uh, deluxe interior, four-speed uh, front and rear uh, bumper guards. Um, and a number of other things which I can't remember right now. And then uh, I also have uh, new uh, inner fenders that came with the car. I mean, these doors are just in perfect condition. They just shut like butter. A little bit of damage right there, but that's not a big deal. And the gauges in this car are just beautiful. Car's got original 64,000 on it, looks like. the original deluxe steering wheel. It's got the original radio. Don't know if it works. Like I said, the original gauges are in really great shape. The dash pad is like mint condition, which is amazing. I mean, the car came from New York originally, so I'm sure that, uh, you know, the lack of sun and so on. But interesting thing is this dash pad is like dark brown, which is interesting in a gold interior. And also the, uh, the door handle or the, the, the window cranks are also brown, which I never knew that they came in any other color but black and clear. But like I said, all these original window cranks are brown. I mean, the upholstery's in pretty rough shape, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna reupholster everything, but just the fact that it hasn't been touched is really great. And the vinyl top is just really in great condition. I mean, it, it's like pretty amazing to find one that's as in good a shape as this is with very little, if any, bu bubbling. I mean, I haven't found any bubbling at all except for back here at the very lower corners. The vinyl's kind of coming apart a little bit. And right there. But again, there's really no major bubbling or anything, so just really happy about that. I mean, of course, we'll replace the vinyl top, but it's just amazing how well preserved it is. And here's some more of the parts here. This is the, uh, these are the inner fenders. This is a brand new 
gas tank. And then looking in the trunk again, I just basically wanted to show how you get some light in here. I just wanted to show how well preserved these quarters are. I mean, there's just really virtually no rust. And for a car that came from New York, that's pretty amazing. This is a rear antenna car too, by the way. Again, here's the other quarter panel. I mean, they're just, it's amazing. It's really great. And as I mentioned, these are the original uh, DG wheels with the original uh, center caps. So that's going to be it for this video. Again, this is just an introduction video of this car, and I'll be working and I'll have more videos on this car over the next few months. And. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is get the car running because I do believe that the car does run. Um, I mean, pretty much everything is hooked up to the engine and ready to go. And I'm just going to I'm just going to reinstall the radiator and the whole front end of the car, and then uh, you know get it running uh, before I you know start the restoration. So um, in the meantime. Uh, Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And in the upcoming videos, I'll, I'll uh, be getting this car running and the front end back together again. So again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.